Hi. Now you probably notice I'm doing a little bit of juggling here. And while it seems like it might take pretty much all my concentration to be able to do it, I'm going to attempt to do some multitasking for a point. Now for this I'm actually going to use a volunteer. Hey, how's it going? Great. Now I notice you have a Bible there. Yes. If you can, turn for me to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and uh, verse 16. I'm actually going to read a few verses out of the Bible while juggling. All right. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Thank you. Sure. Now, you notice, uh, even though I was busy, you know, attempting to juggle here, I was still able to read a few verses out of the Bible. And uh, the, in the same way, you know, we need to make sure, no matter what we're doing, we, you know, we might seem like we're really busy, you know, in life, you know, with work, and, you know, if you're a kid, you got school, and you've, you know, you've got all kinds of stuff, you know, family life. We need to make sure we take that time, you know, our, our quiet time each day. Um, you know, in the Word, praying, you know, the Bible says, you know, in that verse, pray without ceasing. And that doesn't mean we need to pray 24 hours a day pre-praying. But we need, you know, because we, you know, we obviously, we have to, we have to eat, we have to sleep, you know, stuff like that. But um, it's, it's important that we are in a spirit of prayer. We need to, and we need to make sure, like I said, you know, no matter how busy we think we are, we always need to take time every day. You, you wouldn't want to go days on end without food. And uh, just like, you know, food is nourishment for our physical bodies, uh, the Word and prayer, time with God, is nourishment for our spiritual bodies. And uh, we need to make sure we take that time every day, you know, spend time in the Word, praying, you know, m spend our time with God, and uh, we'll be good. Uh, my name's Chris, and uh, hope you got something out of this. Thanks.